and welcome back to Rollercoaster Tycoon, where we are back in the Giggle Downs Park. Now, uh, first things first, I must admit that um, it's been quite a while for me since I last played this game. Any game, really, because, yeah, I was quite busy. So, any plans that I really had uh, with this park, I kind of forgot them. I'm pretty sure they'll come back to me, but, yeah, I'm kind of like standing in this blank, like, uh, what the hell did I do here again? <laughs> what was the last thing we did? Um, <laughs> you know, kind of in, like, that situation. Uh, another thing is that you might hear some background noise and that is my ventilator because it's almost 30 degrees here but man I now that I have time again I couldn't wait playing so here we are with noise and cooling but it's needed so giggle downs then huh what did we last do I believe last thing we did was this go with the flow <laughs> lovely pink no, 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 that can't be. It's already filled up with gas and all that. If it's not that we built last, then... Is it this coast there? Diggle down? Oh yeah, it is. Look, <laughs> total customers, zero, but it is open. Yeah, right, so last thing we did is we built this coast there. Well, um, in that case, next thing we should do is... <laughs> Well, build another coach there, of course, but not right now. No, we need to build uh, some other ride, preferably a thrill ride, because we have plenty of gentle stuff in here. I mean, I'm just looking over here, and I see four gentle rides already, <laughs> right in one go. So, And then there is a fifth one over there, even. So, yeah, we need thrill rides, and this go cards. Oh man, go-karts, go-karts is so crazy good. We're gonna have it, we're gonna build it. Not gonna <laughs> duo build it <laughs> like I did uh, a few weeks ago, but we are definitely gonna get this. So, go-karts, we are gonna build you somewhere in this corner. Uh, you know what, let's build it over there. So, uh, now that we've decided, <laughs> let's get it built then. Uh, we're gonna build it quite a ways back over here so that we can have a decent queue size. And uh, you know what? Let's. No, not over there. Um, no, I need it in a straight line with this path. Because this is my planning for the rest of the infrastructure hooking it up. <laughs> it's gonna be straight and simple. I like that, you know? Simple and. Oh man, listen to the music. It's been so long since I last heard this. It's great. <laughs> it still sounds good. Oh, uh, yeah, but there's a slide in the way. <laughs> That's uh, a little bit less good, but... Oh, man. Okay, enough. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> I shouldn't damage me, my own ears. And yours, by the way. Oh, look at that. I actually went on this depot chaser. Alright, cool. Uh, I like these pre-built coasters, apparently. At least the in-game me does so. Mini-me. <laughs> ah, well, uh, I think that, you know, these pixels are the real me. Yeah, there's quite a difference in size. Now, a nice hill in the track design. And then, okay, perhaps... Well, the hill's not going to change the way down a little bit. Uh, and then we go down a little bit over here. A little bit over there. Remove a few trees. Oh man. I oh, it's really good to be back playing roller coaster tycoon. Now I don't want to go too much over there because I have plans for other stuff over there, you know. Uh, but we can, what we can do is go up here and then just you know explore this hill. Say we're king of the hill. Alright, and then it's time to go back. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, so we need to be at height 13, it appears that we are at height 13, and then we go over these two tracks, and then down like this, look at that, oh wait, <laughs> we only need to go down one level, there, this is quite the long track, but I think that it will be pretty popular. Uh, that might also have to do with the fact that it's a go-kart, <laughs> that's always popular, <laughs> even if we just make a figure eight or a figure zero <laughs> even that's popular uh, but of course we did way better than that so now uh, this is now in place so that's good 
Look, few benches there. Done. Oh man. Yeah, that is still hasn't changed. You know, <laughs> not that the game has changed any, but um, yeah, it's still nice and easy to hook everything up. Now we are going to charge. Well, you know, I want to charge more than five bucks, and I know we can, so I'm just gonna <laughs> screw it. <laughs> uh, you know, there I usually I go with five bucks, but hey, it's go karts, and go karts is amazing. So yeah. It is going to be six bucks. We could also use the money, by the way. So I do think it's justified, <laughs> purely from a financial, you know, uh, point of view. <laughs> yeah, charge more, make me rich. We only have two years in this park, if I'm right. Now, do we? Uh, wait, <laughs> that was the hotkey there. <laughs> I want to check that right now. Yeah, it is two years, twelve hundred fifty guys. All right, good. Um, the name for the go cards then. Why don't we call this? Uh, yeah, we're going to call this uh, Le Woman, <laughs> Le Woman's <laughs> instead of Le Man's, <laughs> Le Woman's. <laughs> oh man, brilliant name by the way. <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, but that's because I made it. And uh, if I am to judge myself, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think I'm the most objective one. Now. Black supports, I don't know, I don't really like the black supports, a light brown might do a lot better though. And if we then go with, hmm, or perhaps this? Yeah, why not? I mean, the steeple chase is already really colorful, we might as well go with a very colorful, uh, you know, color theming here. I do see that I did stick with <laughs> colorful, you know, colors I don't use that often. Well, <laughs> this purple is definitely one of them, so there, the woman is open, and uh, let's get ourselves a handy dude out there. You know, uh, standards and all that, and um, it's done, it's added to the park. Now, uh... Ah, uh, excuse me, uh, but yeah, so the next thing we should do is um, build another ride. <laughs> what, a, what a strategic <laughs> oh, master decision there, <laughs> build rides. No, but the next thing we should do is build another ride, and um, well, I just looked, <laughs> we don't really have that many thrill rides, though, ooh, perhaps a water ride. Oh, we have pretty much all the water rides. Maybe we should build those then, huh? Or at least a few. Now, over the parks, I've grown more and more fond of this log film, so this is a really good candidate to be built right now. It's going to be a little bit expensive, but yeah, <laughs> I've already decided. So, log film. We have water here. Um, yeah, I think one and one makes two. I think that the lock fume should be like right over here. Pretty much built above this whole rowing attraction. Uh, also with the exit and the uh, queue right next to over here. So uh, yeah, let's get that done. In fact, you know what? We're gonna build the station just right above <laughs> the other station. Just, yeah, plain above. Alright, um, well then, it's decided. Let's get this shoe in the road. I do believe that by going backwards like this, yeah, I can build right above it. Good, good. Alright, now, uh, the entrance, I could build it over here, but I don't know. That's going to be an ugly piece of work, so we're gonna build it over there. And, uh, no, actually, we're not going to build it over there. <laughs> we're going to move the whole thing up by one. So they, they can use shared exits. So, there. Uh, this one back up. First, we need some height. Very, very important. Uh, then, look, don't stray away too far from the rowing attraction. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, yeah, it's not really built on top of it. Now, is it? So, let's go down here first. Look, already interesting, you know, drops and all that. Um, I like, I approve. Uh, ooh, and we can actually utilize this hill a little bit by <laughs> looking at our budget and thinking, crap, <laughs> who said we were gonna build this again? <laughs> yeah, we need money and balls. <laughs> right now, we got this weather. Can I take out some more loom, please? I can, actually. Okay. Um, I thought, <laughs> you know, when I decided about this ride, that we could not have more loan. Now that we can have more loan, I kind of regret 
not having chosen to build a coaster. <laughs> ah, balls. <laughs> right, fine then. Uh, it is what it is, but yeah, what we really need in this park is a coaster. So there's a good chance that next thing we build is said coaster. Uh, well, we do need some terraforming done over here, otherwise we're not even going to return back to that station. Uh, let's see. What I could do is... No. If I do this... I think that... No, that's not going to lead us back. So what we do need is an S-band towards the other side, please. Uh, we also need to do this and this. Okay, perhaps even this. Why is this not going to happen? Please, hello, the land. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, and that as well. <laughs> Balls, kind of forgot that. This is not really what I want, but... Ah. Alright, fine. It needs to be done, this, really. Otherwise, yeah, we're not gonna return this. Perhaps, you know, I'll terraform away uh, the whole hill later. For now, though, <laughs> every penny that we can save on terraforming, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna save it. So, this is a pretty solid track design. A few ups and downs, few curves there. Nothing like ingenious or anything, but you know, it's basic, it works. Uh, wait, this is supposed to be this. Now, there's two ways we can go with this uh, the short way or the somewhat <laughs> less short way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my preference is for the latter. So, this is the somewhat less short way. <laughs> there, <laughs> it works. <laughs> and, um,. Yeah, then the exit path. Now, over here, this is the only real way. Otherwise, we create a square over there. And as we know, squares are evil. And, uh, yeah, they don't like us. <laughs> and the other way around as well. <laughs> so, now, we do not really have any ratings or a time on this ride. So, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is... Wow, look at, look at this, by the way. In June year one, I have 700 guests in the park. I mean, what's this? A cakewalk? Uh, a cookie walk? I mean, wow, okay. This park is really easy, actually. Now, let's quickly set this up and uh, make it more so easy. Wow, I mean, 700 guests. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, just what I am. Now, uh, 10 minutes. Uh, we don't know. No, we don't have different boats. You know, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> In this one odd park, we get extra boats. But it's not. Not like that. No, I, you know, to be honest, I don't even think there are any extra boats for this available. It's a thing, though, you know, these boats. That they kind of forget to, to check <laughs> quite often. But they're, they're supposed to be quite a big deal of... Um, extra rides, you know, or different train types or whatever available, but <laughs> yeah, I kind of miss that all the time. Now, the blue and the white, is that alright? Yeah, I guess. I mean, <laughs> you know, there could be worse things. <laughs> like purple logs. <laughs> uh, no, no, let, you know, what we could do is have them be ice, ice color. Or we could not do that. We could also have them be black, <laughs> and then their camo on the lift. But we're also not going to have that. No, the regular brown, that looked quite good for me. So, well, how are we going to name this? We are going to call this uh, the Snail Trail. It's also moist, you know, a snail trail, and that's also the speed at which these boats go. Right, that's opened up. Uh, I do believe that there's already a handy dude in place over here, so I don't really think we need an extra one. I mean, both of these water rides don't, don't generate that much nausea, yeah? so yeah, we're gonna leave it at that. But we now have five grants available. And an amazing amount of guests in the park. Really amazing, because they keep coming in big numbers. So, my plan is to bid the coaster right now. Yep, I've said it, and we're going to do it. Uh, that coaster is going to be, preferably, a somewhat cheap one, but also one with trains. This is too expensive. This doesn't have trains. 
But this might actually not be such a bad idea. The thing is, though, yeah, it's not really my type of coaster, you know. What I would much rather have is the rodent coaster and then two of those, you know, paired up, synchronized and all that. But I've had that in the last park, so... And since we do have quite a good amount of guests here already, you know what, contrary to what I feel we should do, uh, I'm going to be stubborn here and do our own thing, which is build these two, these co this coaster and then another one, you know, synchronize it. Even though, you know, my gut says me, <laughs> we want uh, this. We're not going to do it against the instincts. I know. I know this could be the doom of the park, but... Now, if we are going to have two of these coasters, then the big question is, of course, how are we going to hook those up? <sighs> Excuse me there. Um, now, what my plan is to have one coaster hook up over here <laughs> and have another one hook up over there. Is that a plan or is that a plan? <laughs> Uh, and furthermore, there is a hill over here, one which um, is quite nice and all, but we are going to build the station in, uh, underground uh, because of this hill. I think one level above this path would be a nice uh, height level. There, yeah, there isn't that much in the underground other than the tracks over here, but th those go straight, so that's easy to avoid and build around. So, alright then, it's decided. Let's build this coaster. It's cheap, and uh, I'm not really that experienced with it, uh, actually. Now, because it's going to be a synchro coaster, I do want quite some space over here, because we need to hook other stuff up too. So, yeah, I figured as much. Now it's the time to raise or lower the land. I might as well do so, whilst we're at it. Alright. And then the station platform is too long, and yeah, I do believe that there is nothing in the way here. Which is good! Now, uh, you... Can I build you over there? No. I can build you over there, though. Wait, hold on a second. Uh, raise or lower the land? Hold on a second. I, oh, it's, uh, it actually fitted! Alright! Well, the exit's going to be over... No? Over there, but the entrance... Oh, it fits! That's very nice! Right then, time to build this coaster, huh? Here we go! Up! <laughs> That's one. one. Uh, and then, perhaps, uh, we go around over here to actually capitalize on that hill that we got. And then... Perhaps we go over there and then up some more and back to this hill that I want to capitalize on. Look at that. Right now we're talking height. We're talking serious height over here. And I approve. So, uh, we're that serious when it comes to height that, yeah, <laughs> we can actually go above the coaster. That's nice, but see, the thing is that <laughs> we're quite high up there, and right now, money is going out of my pocket like crazy. Uh, we go straight. Alright. <laughs> Let's go down quite a bit here, <laughs> just so that we have some, oh, you know, play space here. Let and, well, cheaper construction. Look at this. I don't know whether or not it was this coaster or the other one, you know, I know there's another type of this coaster that is capable of launching itself, uh, I do hope that it was not this one though, and if it is, alright, uh, issues, <laughs> ah well, we're gonna assume the best and uh, this is not going to crash, right? Uh, uh, this would be quite nice. Alright, perhaps just one higher, it would be even better, because then... Look, this can happen. Now, we need to go down some more, over here. Do some terraforming for it. 
and then yeah you know what let's get the view in a better sh in a better shape because all these damn supports I don't see a thing and this is this is just a minor and tiny peak at the underground and that's good this is gonna yank up the ratings like it should uh, okay now there there is a bit of a problem here in that I need to go back to the station with this track and yeah that, that's kind of like what, what is not happening <laughs> so you know what what we really need is to go back into the underground here and then see that we get back to the station so now if I straighten this out this is at height 10 here so right now at height 12 we are at the station's height but right okay we need to go around over there then if that is what it takes actually now that we're behind we can go to height 10 and this is actually the, you might think like wow you're making a massive detour in the underground no don't well actually this is good and I'll tell you why because this is more track in the underground and this might be one of these coasters that is actually going to be considered uh, water oh, well, waterproof uh, I mean rain proof of course uh, that is height 10 so, all right um, hold on a second have I just this might be a lot tougher than it looks actually uh, we need to go up here now yeah alright so the station might not become as long as I had initially planned all right well fine then I mean that's not really that much of an issue Look, we're already building something back Alrighty, well we have the exit and the entrance still in one place, so why don't we test this and hope that it doesn't crash. The one thing that I'm really afraid of is this area here. I could insert a brake, but hopefully that will work. Um, in the meantime though, while you, the guys, the viewers, keep an eye on that kind of stuff, you know, crashes and all that, guest safety, I am going to fiddle around a cue path here. Oh. Well, that's an issue. I'm not going to fiddle around the cube pad, but I am going to watch whether or not this is going to crash. It's not. Alright. Well, that's good. So this does not get launched off then, apparently. I don't know what the ratings are going to be, but I can only... Oh. No, it does crash. When it goes up over there, it does. But we can fix that because there is a wait hold on ah there it is there is a piece of straight there um no <laughs> where <laughs> oh there no there it is all right look this piece over here we're going to add in brakes and well I don't know they were going at like 50 so if I have this go 35. And then perhaps over here we have a few more lifted pieces. Look, that will be safe. However, <laughs> we also have an issue with, uh, yeah, hooking things up. So, entrance here. And then, yeah, the whole logistics of hooking this thing up are going to be changed somewhat. <laughs> but, all right. That's all right, though. Uh, we, you know, the Q path and exit path are always of lesser importance, really. Now, why can I not? Again, that freaking roller coaster being in the way. That is an issue, really. I had not thought that that would be an issue, but clearly it is. That also worries me about the exit path. But uh, let's see. I need this to be at this dent. Come on now. And if I then go with this stuff here. Oh, that works. Right, first thing I need to do is terraform and go up. <laughs> I mean, I've had enough of that coaster being a nuisance, so then we need to go up here 
look and right now we're above ground which is more or less where i need to be <laughs> now i know that i'm ruining the good looks that this park might have had <laughs> with uh <laughs> staircases <laughs> yeah <laughs> long time with since we last built them and I was hoping to keep it that way but yeah sometimes things don't go how you want <laughs> now this we need to test and um, yeah let's also try and see that we hook up the exit huh somewhere in this jungle of tracks and supports there is an exit and it's you and well the exit is proving to be problematic. Over here though, I do believe that we might be onto something. Are we now? We are! Look at that! We are onto something! Nice! Alright then. That, yeah, alright, so, but we are onto something. <laughs> But I wonder what it is and whether or not we will have any good use for it. Yeah, so we need to be straight over here because of... Well, we're actually already one too high. Mm -hmm. This is not good. I don't approve of this at all. Right then, but I do believe that yeah, right now we can go below the path there, so we might as well do it like this. This is far from ideal, but and then we will go down here. Okay, perhaps not. <laughs> Balls, really. Well, uh, I do believe that we can now actually. <laughs> yeah, right. So we're now right beside the path here. Uh, big on you. This is uh, not really the smoothest operation in Damage Tycoon uh, history, but uh, well, we'll get there. Oh crap, that was also unintended. So, oh no you got, oh, really that roller coaster, I'm starting to have regrets about not removing it really. I mean, it's such a big nuisance. Right, now that hooks it up. It does. Very nice. We are going to work here with a new entry sign. Because, man, <laughs> this is such a long area, <laughs> you know. Both the entrance and the exit path, they're both so long. <laughs> Not really intended like that, but... Oh well, it is what it is. Oh, and I totally forgot to have you guys follow the car. Great! <laughs> I guess it must be the long time of me not playing this game that's now showing itself. Right then, um, we need a handy dude here, that's for sure. And we also need a fix mechanic. See, I haven't forgotten about the most important things. <laughs> Though, <laughs> a lot of them, <laughs> but not the most important ones. Now, fix mechanic! You are gonna have this area and stay there. I said stay there. No, is that your area? Does it have your name written on it? There, that's better. Alright then, it is time to figure out what the ratings are. And uh, another thing, we are in August year one with 850 guests in the park. We only need 400 more. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Now then, uh, the ratings, huh? Are you ready for it? I am. It's not that great. Pause. I knew it. I knew I should not have gone with this coaster. But <laughs> it is what it is now. And we are going to stick with it. But yeah. And we don't have different cars. Great. <laughs> the disappointment <laughs> that, you know, I was fearing kind of is there. You know, being a ballsy coaster and all. And especially because it has ruined <laughs> the whole cleanliness if it was ever there then right now we ruined it with this monstrosity of a queue now well we're gonna open it up and we're just gonna pretend like it's awesome so we're gonna call this pretender there <laughs> because it's pretending to be awesome but it's not <laughs> so right then now 
but we could compensate a little bit with some awesome coloring, right? So let's try and see if we can get something cool here as a paint job. Um, cool. That's cool. We don't really have that color prominent in the park, though this is also a somewhat darkish color. So, no. And then we go with the black here. Yellow could do. Now we do have yellow over there, but perhaps with a yellow and blue. Doesn't look so bad. If we go with a little bit darker yellow, it looks more like gold. Now, gold is a color I always approve of. How about we go this? This is bonkers. And then white supports. Oh, that is bright. I quite like it though, you know. It's like a bright side in the park. And then we could have the other coaster because hell yeah, there's going to be another coaster. With those ratings, I pretty much need one. Uh, but we're going to go with a bit of a cold color uh, for the trains. You know, because it's like white and yellow and orange and that's nice and warmish and all that. We're going to go with a bit of contrast on the cars. So, there we have it then. The coaster's bit on to the next ride. But that and more all has to wait for next time when we play more Roller Coaster Tycoon.